Yes, it's Epic here, and today I got a little video for you on hypernerbs helping, or like, what is hypernerbs help? Because there's a lot of people who don't know what it is and don't know what it's gonna do. So I'm gonna help on that, and it's been a while since I've made a video. And yes, I've been a little lazy, but I mean, everybody has those lazy weeks, I guess. So yeah, let's just get started. I'm sorry for any noises you hear that you don't want to hear. Or if the audio is bad, I'm, I mean, I'm just assuming that you might hear noises because I can hear my parents. And I already had to record this twice, so last time I did, it was bad audio. So, okay, let's just start. So basically what Hypernerbs is, is a tool that makes, that makes objects softer than they usually appear. So for example, okay, um, suppose I took a sphere, right? And let's make it editable. Now, whenever okay, oh, stupid stuff. Whenever you have an object such as a cube, I'll move this over to the side. Suppose you have a cube. You always want to put as many segments as possible. I mean, not too many segments, but put a few segments in so that it's editable now, so that it's clearly editable. And okay, here, let me drop one here. Let me add make it five okay see now I got a lot of segments what I can do here I uh, forget the sphere screw that for now take this make it editable I'm gonna choose plane what I'm gonna do is pull out a couple planes here and show you what hypernerb sort of does so you see how everything all the corners are sort of rounded if you, I mean, not rounded, I mean squarish. Everything is still pretty squarish. I mean, nothing has really changed um, clearly. Everything is pretty basic. So what Hypernerbs is going to do here is make all these corners and edges that are already there, that are all squarish and unsoft, it's going to make everything soft. It's like a smooth body on an object, except instead of making it smooth, it's basically um, making everything softer than it usually is. So once I just finish editing this, I mean, I'm just doing it randomly. I'm not actually trying to make something here. But OK, so now we have just some random figure. And so let's go ahead and add, 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 add hypernerbs. So just click hypernerbs and drag the cube onto a drop down box on hypernerbs. And now look at it. It's all soft. So basically what it's done is made everything much softer than it previously was. Now it gives you an outline of what it did look like and what it looks like now. So that sort of helps you. And so you can, from here, you can also keep editing. Um, if I did that, now it looks creepy and inappropriate, sort of. Um, and you can just keep go ahead and edit. And this is good if you're making, like, characters or humans or anything that requires something really soft or something that's not pristinely flat so I'm I'm just screwing around here and making random stuff but I mean you get it like if you're making a jelly monster or I, I don't know what you're making but suppose you're making Mario okay you're probably gonna have to use hypernerbs suppose you're making a person you're probably gonna have to use hypernerbs um, for example the other day I was screwing around and this is what I created using hypernerbs um, Pokemon. This. It sort of looks like a Pokemon if you notice. There's the eye right there and there's another eye. There's a mouth. I didn't mean to do that. What I did was take a sphere and extend it and put hypernerbs on it. Put a green coloring and put some lights. And for some reason the reflection made it so perfect that it created that. And I was like, wow, that was, that, that had to be the biggest coincidence ever. So yeah, basically hypernerbs is a tool that lets you soften objects and once you've softened them they're no longer squarish in form and it allows you to make like jelly like objects and I mean not jelly like objects but smooth objects smoother than normal so it's like if I added a what do you call it what do you uh, soft body to this create a floor and add um here, before I do that, let me just move the cube up. Not fail. Hypernerbs to cube. Up. 
floor, create collider. I mean, this is just adding on to what I said before. You don't have to do any of this. this I'm just I'm just trying to see what this does. And as you see, it clearly, it's a soft body. So it looks more realistic when it comes to soft bodying and you have a soft object. I mean, that also works with spheres. But that's basically what, um, what, uh, what do you call it? What Hypernerbs does. It makes everything soft. So I hope you got that. Please rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Uh, thanks.